All right, we're on the 4.2 white worksheet. We're going to talk about number two. Uh, let's go ahead and do A, B, and C, just to make sure we're familiar with the problem, uh, what the equation's about, and so on and so forth. So uh, F of zero. So again, we have um, F of zero. Whatever's in the little field tank here goes into the equation for X, okay? So you know the input. You're finding the output. This equation says to take 4 times the input times the input squared plus 1. That's basically what this sentence says to do. Wherever there is an x, we're supposed to put a 0. Whoa. We're supposed to put a 0 into the x. Whoa. We're supposed to put a 0 into the x. All right? Wherever you see an x, put a 0. So we need to do 4 times 0 times 0 squared plus 1. Well, what's 4 times 0? Zero? 0. What's 0 squared? 0, right? 0 squared is 0, right? 0 squared is 0. Plus 1 is 1. So what's 4 times 0 times 1? 0. So the answer here is 0. All right. Negative 2. We're supposed to do 4 times negative 2. Okay, this is negative 8. So we're supposed to do 4 times negative 2 times negative 2 squared plus 1. So out here we have a negative 8 times, be careful, negative 2 squared, positive 4, plus 1 is... Five. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. So that was the answer to 2B. All right? Now it's time for 2C. And we have 4X times X squared plus 1. This is our F of X, right? F of X equals that red math sentence. Normally, they give you what's in the fuel tank and you plug it in. Right? You plug it in for X. Here, they're telling you what the machine produces. They're telling you what the answer is, and you're supposed to work backwards and find the input. They say, this red machine produces what? Eight. What input would achieve that? That's the question. What would you put in to make eight? All right? So what I want you to do is I want you to start by trying to simplify the equation a little bit if you can. For example, could you uh, divide both sides by a number just to kind of chip it away a little bit to make it a little simpler? Could you divide both sides by a number? By 4. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's divide both sides by 4, and you get 2 equals x times x squared plus 1. Okay? We haven't really studied in detail how to solve what's called a cubic function. It's called a cubic function because what would you get here if you distributed? x cubed plus x. 2 equals x cubed plus x. We haven't really studied how to solve that yet. All right? What we will do in the future is Take the two over to the right, try to factor it, and figure out what the what the zeros of the function are. That's coming soon to a classroom near you. But for now, when you're solving one of these equations and you get stuck, here's what I want you to do. Take the right side of the equation and put it into y1. Take the left side of the equation, just the number 2, and put it into y2 and see where they intersect, okay? So we're going to use the graphing calculator to figure out where the lines cross, where the curve crosses the line to solve the equation. Let's clear this out. So we're putting in x to the third plus x. That's going to produce this weird little s curve, all right? We'll study those later this year when we get to polynomials. We want to know when it equals 2. So y1, y2, press zoom 6. That'll give you a standard window. 
So there does the curve cross the line? To find out, go to second trace. Remember, what's better than trace? Second trace. Okay, go to second trace and find out where they intersect, just like we did in the last chapter. All right? Is the first curve this? So say yes by hitting enter. Is the second curve this line? Yes, by hitting enter. Would you like to guess? Not really, because I think they only cross once. So I'm just going to hit enter. And it says that they cross when x equals 1. So let's go back to our paper, and let's write x must be 1. And does that make sense? Is 1 squared plus 1 times 1, 2. What's 1 squared? 1 plus 1, 2 times 1, 2. It was. If you go back to the original, what's 1 squared plus 1, 2. What's out here? 4 times 1, what's that? What's 4 times 2? Two, eight, it works. Okay? That input, one, so this is the output, eight. 